Welcome to Still Speak Podcast. This will be a very short video about Summer Wells. A YouTube channel called Kraken Cases, and it's spelled C-R-A-C-K-I-N, no G at the end, Cases, visited the Wells property recently, and they did not interview the Wells on camera, and I think that was a really good call because we don't need any more rumors or to add to the further speculation uh, I think we've heard enough from the Wells at this point. But the Wells allowed them to go anywhere on the property and the home to record. And it seems that they had a similar thought about the abandoned school bus I mentioned in one of the last episodes of my Summer Wells series. Because they focused in on that area and they located a very clear path from the school bus and showed Summer Swing in relation to this path. I want everyone to go watch their video. I'm not going to clip it and share it here. I want you to go and give them the view and uh, recognition for their work. I want to thank them for doing this to give a better idea of how easily and quickly she could have been taken. But I also want to say, you should be asking yourself after you watch it, why? The other channel did not show this path when they visited the property. Why? Why was it implied over and over and over and over again that it was unlikely that she was being, you know, abducted on that channel that we discussed heavily? Why? There's three videos by Cracking Cases. Two of them are short videos of the property, and one is a live about what they observed. They did say that they could not hear cars coming up the gravel driveway, and I said in my episodes that we could hear the gravel driveway in the interview room video. Now, without me physically being on property, you know, personally, it's hard to say if, you know, you can indeed hear or not hear a car. I do know that gravel driveways are usually really loud, but it could be that the way the property is laid out and how it's all hilly and what have you, maybe sound is traveling differently and maybe you really can't hear, um, you know, somebody coming up to the property. Now, I don't believe that someone drove up the property straight to the house, like parked near the house at all. I believe if she was abducted, that whoever it was accessed the property uh, from the back of the property and they walked up towards the property and then went back the same way they came. I felt this from the beginning and this video that they took just further confirms it for me. And If you remember... I said that somebody can easily hide behind the school bus and nobody would see a dang thing. Uh, they actually do a demonstration where they're hiding behind a bush and you can't see anything. Um, so thank you to Cracking Cases for doing this for those of us who are following Summer's case. Give their videos a like and subscribe to their channel. I'm working on a timeline video about the day Summer went missing. We're going to see if it all fits and a timeline of all the events and interviews that have occurred, whether in mainstream media or YouTube, um, over the last almost three months since Summer went missing. So look for those soon. I'm also working on episode two of the Murdoch story, uh, because even more happened yesterday, which included Alex Murdoch resigning from his law firm. What? And they gave a very bizarre statement that tells me there may be a twist unfolding here, okay, about the shooting that occurred on Saturday where Alex um, suffered a superficial gunshot wound to the head. So this might get fascinating. we got to see. In addition, I'm working on ap- uh, episode three of Caitlin Conley. Uh, I have a missing person I'm going to be telling you about, and also a video about the deaths of two beautiful young women killed in separate situations, but have a lot of similarities. So be on the lookout for all of that, working hard over here, trying to bring you contact uh, content and grow this channel so we can help people who need it. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks.